Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, don't let the dirt on this lawnmower fool you. Now it is probably an imported yard works, but it has the Kohler engine design. Uh, before we attempt to start it, I'll give you a little back history. My neighbor loves to get stuff from dumps and stuff, and he brought this over the other day. Uh, hasn't been tested, so we're just going to make sure a couple of things, right? Make sure it has lubrication. This was loose. Oh yeah, and you can see there's a sweat around the outside. Okay, that oil looks perfectly new, doesn't it? Okay. I'm just going to pull the air cleaner. Okay. That's a ten dollar saving. So it's starting to look like somebody made an effort. Just take a little gas sample. If there is any, well that's loose too. Tight but loose. Oops. Okay, that's almost new gas too. So it looks like that worst case scenario, last fall, somebody tried to get this to run. What am I meant to pour five more? This gas cap's got a ragged start. There we go. Nope. I have one of them in the in the hoard. Okay, so the air cleaner's off. Now I did notice two things. The, uh, the rope's pulled right into the engine, and it should be off of this. Off of that loop there. So maybe I can pull it. Oh. Okay, I'll pull the rope out. Good. So... When I squeezed the bale, it didn't feel right. It's only squeezing... It starts there, and it's only squeezing that far. Oh yes, and then when you look down here... Watch how far it pulls this lever here. So that might not be enough to fire it up. No. Nope. Now I could prime it. But I, I don't know, that amount of movement is very small. It should, I know these engines, right? It should come back twice that far. But I'll try and prime it first. You never know, right? So to prime an engine, uh, although you guys that fix engines know how to do this, but there's guys out there that don't know how. So I'm going to just do that. Right there. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> don't throw up. Good. I'm going to lift this and just shoot a little bit of gas right into that past the choke. Okay, so if there's any, if there's any spark at all, which there probably isn't, back around. This lever is not moving very far, but let's try that again. It does release the brake a little bit. So it's not lifting it quite far enough. So what do we do? Do we work on the cable or do we stick a, a tie wrap on there? <laughs> well that's good news though. It has some spark and then quit. I know. Brainstorm. I got some cheap tie wraps. I shouldn't say cheap. But they 
came in my stocking for Christmas. And uh, I know Santa hasn't got a lot of extra money for stuff like this. We won't be able to turn it off now, right? You guys are watching this, I hope. Okay, so the tire up, that's, that's further than it was, right? Yeah, that's going to run now. We better open the big door though. Let's wait for that. So we just have to get this cable to pull the lever back a little further. I'm going to take the cable off and see if we can grease it. Good. That came off the handle really easy. This might just be why the lawnmower was abandoned. Uh oh, something bad happened. Oh, we're good. I thought the cable broke from rust, eh? Good. Yeah, push that out of the way. And we come to the vise. I want to mention one thing. This isn't my only vise. Okay, so there's the cable with the uh, lubricant insert uh, piece. There. Now we'll see if we got enough propellant to get into there. Done right. It works. Hey, come and see here. Where are we? Right there. Thanks, Zippo. Good. It just doesn't get any better than that. Spray that with air later. Okay, my friends. It doesn't get any better than that when you can push a cable through with your fingers. Well, remember it was the bad cable, sorry, on this one yeah. from Daniel. Yeah. Cable? No, I fixed the old one. Oh, good for you. It was just rusty. That was Mrs. P. You guys know her. So one more small fix on this. And I've had to do this on quite a few of these coolers. How about you guys? There's the oil filler. We'll just come at a bit of a different angle here. There it is. We just need a good sized crescent wrench. And we're just gonna we're just gonna bend that this guy back a little bit, almost till it hits the uh, oil filler neck. Hmm, might have to tap it. Also, it can be a hammer. It's really not that solid a piece of a material. Eh? Now, I'm not going to put that cable on there until I give this guy a wash. So we'll stick that through there. Just make sure he runs now. He, it's a, it's a, must be a boy. Might be a girl when we're all done. Sex change operation.
Good. That's got to start, right? So I'm going to put that cable on after we're done. serious thing or not too serious but you can see it is this wheel is pigeon toed I'm gonna to line it up perfectly for you and it pulls to the right as well right? so when we have it up on the bench we will definitely straighten that wheel right there now it's bath time all right we might, we've got the spark plug cables disconnected we might as well have a look at the plug right it's probably going to be a torch just some point of origin of manufacturer, right? But I don't think it's going to be that bad. Well, it might be clogged up. I don't know. It's been sitting, eh? Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's actually not that bad. It's a little bit brownish. But it's okay. Now, what is it? It's a torch! So, now... There's guys that have had luck with them, and there's guys that haven't had luck with them. This is equivalent to the BPR6ES. I'm sorry, the NGK BPR6ES, because you see that F6 on there? Geez, did we put a new plug into that bad boy? You know, it's not costing me anything. Let's do it. I'll be right back. So the gap for the Hondas on these is 28 thousandths, and the... The old RJ19 LMs are 30,000, so I've got, I actually labeled my bars because they were getting hard to read. So let's see if this is 28 thousandths. Oh, there aren't enough O's and smooth to describe that, eh? We'll do it right now. Sometimes even the edge of this gets caught. Eh? Let's plug her back in. And we'll see if it starts. Because I've still got that cheater tie wrap on there, right? It sure looks better. A little bit of paste wax and she'll look like new. Let's see. Let's see if it'll go. Got some movement on there, but not just a tiny bit more than before, right? Up past the kink in the cable, actually. So I'm just going to put some fresh. I dumped the old gas out. There was a little tiny bit of water in it. I'm going to give her a good drink. Everybody gets a half a tank of fuel, and these days that's a little more than you think, right? Money wise. Okay, let's put that gas cap on there. That should be the last. So we've got fresh gas, a new spark plug, no air filter yet, but the air filter's good. And 
and we'll see if we get a clamp and we'll see how it's running. You know that only a quarter of an inch on and off down there, right there, reminds me of the old Tecumseh linkages that were just like, just barely there. So anyway, it runs great now. I'm going to uh, put it up on the stand and we're going to see what's next. We've got to straighten that wheel and sharpen the blade. And I'm not sure about the oil change, we'll discover that when we get there. crooked wheel and if I really check that uh, wheel oops there, we're gonna work on that crooked wheel if you look at it from the end come with me look at that that's right from that wheel to that wheel it's sitting like that and if I look at the bracket that holds the wheel it's bent right there so what happens, and the handlebars are a little bit bent on the opposite side. So it almost looks like somebody who was using this was pulling it out of the pickup truck and letting it snap onto the ground. That's my thought. People are very unkind to lawnmowers and then they get mad at them when they don't cut. They didn't have a tough enough childhood. Okay, I'm going to straighten that right now. You guys know you can't see. See, I'm working. I'm working. There we go. I'm not quite sure how to do this. I've done a hundred of them. More. I get myself an old Chinese crescent wrench, or I'm sorry, foreign crescent wrench, and I See if I can pull that out. Yep. I got that quite a bit. You guys may want to see how much that's bending. Just maybe this old guy still got it, eh? There we go. Watch this. Might even be a bit too much, and that's okay. Now I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use a little WD-40 there, Mick. I just need to lube this up for. Good. Let's just put that wheel back on there to see if it's crooked. What did I do with the wheel? You know I went a little too far. This time I'm going too far. So now, what else is left on the defective side? Get you back over here so you can see the more without the backlight. Uh, blade. Let's just have a quick look at the blade. I'm going to go at it from the other side. I 
still haven't decided whether I'm going to change the oil or not. It's so good. squareness of it too. Okay, how, well you know it's only got one zoo ball right there. Can you see that? There. I'm going to peen that back first with a ball peen hammer. And then the same ouchness on that side. So it's not that bad. I, I can probably fix it. You wouldn't believe what you can do with a hammer. So over here I'm going to get you right in here because it's kind of crowded. I've got that nick in that blade, right? i get that flush on there. I'm going to put it over this hole. sharpen it. Don't knock it. Some guys don't like it when I do this, but it works. And I've had say some that say if you put it this way, whoop, if you put it that way and it and it stays, it's not it, <laughs> that's wrong. If it stays it's balanced. If it pulls to one side it's not. And it looks like there's a little bit of a weight on that side. And that's the side that I did not fix. Okay, so I'm just going to sharpen this guy and I'll be right back. There we go. I call that as good as you can get. And there's the one sharpened edge, not too, not too sharp, with a blunt end on it. There's the other one. Yes, sorry, Bob. We'll get that blade back on there and we can lower the lawnmower down. can't see what the goggles on. That's sad. i got to clean those one of these years. Perfect. Okay, so 40 foot-pounds. This whole air gun doesn't do much more than that. So I got about an eighth of a turn on that at 40 foot-pounds. So yes, there's uh, automatic torques you can buy and all that stuff. So I know I can take that a little further than I was taking it. Thank you for that. Okay, down we come. So 
So what's left, guys? A little bit of water in the air cleaner. I'm going to wipe it down and make the decision on whether I change that oil or not. Interesting problem. Pretty filter and a filter. Pretty quality little gig we got going on here. Yep, yeah, I can see through that filter. Put it in. So now it's just I'm gonna I'm gonna do a really nice job of cleaning it up. Because now it's no longer a piece of crap. Alright? Just wait till I finish on the shiner part. Alright, it already looks pretty good. Would have been nice if it was red, eh? So let's get some run-of-the-mill garden variety cleaner and we'll just do it before and after. Leave you right there. Let's have a look. And right at the last minute, oh, right at the last minute, I've decided to change the oil. So we'll lower it. I'm just here. I am with, with the best fit and polish is what that's called. But there was a big, huge scratch on this side, and I just took a little bit of Mother's polish, and a, if you put Mother's polish on a piece of four aught steel wool. It'll perform miracles for you. So I'm just going to take it down and change the oil. Take it down and start it up. Front wheel straight. Oh yeah, the handlebars. One minute. Now they're not that bad because the whole thing is kind of straight, eh? Yeah, that's not bad. We can leave that. Sometimes the uh, mowers don't uh, go fairly, what do you say, how do, how do I say it, they don't drain that perpendicular, but this one is good. I'll start with 500 milliliters and see what we end up with. Good. So you saw it first here on Bruce Bender TV.